All right, I'm back. So here is my review of Ozark, the new drama series only on Netflix. Yes, only on Netflix, and we can see why. So I love a great storyline with a key antagonist. And let's just say that Dell was top-notch in this show. Now you're going to have to watch to see who Dell is, but you'll understand why I'm saying this at the end. Ten episodes, and let's just say I binged it like crazy. I had heard talks about it, and I thought, okay, I might give it a look. Then I watched the, po the trailer for the, the show, and I thought, still not selling me. The pilot sold me. I watched the pilot, and then it was like, okay, I got to watch episodes two, three, four. Before I knew it, it was time to like go to bed, get up for work, because you know I do work in the real world, have a real job. <laughs> so it was like, this is unbelievable. The dialogue, the characters, the storylines, the key storyline of all. I mean, let's take money laundering to the next highest level that we can go. And then you go in and you see this family that will do whatever they can to protect one another. And th this husband, who's played by uh, Jason Bateman, who does whatever he can to protect his wife and his two children. And of course, there's these storylines that are intertwined and these plots and these twists. But all in all, Dell is a key antagonist. And that's what keeps the characters going. That's what keeps the show going. That's what keeps the key storyline going. Every episode, you're cringing because Dell scares the shit out of every single character. Every single episode. And of course, he has these goons working for him. And these goons are not anyone to mess with. So, basically, the show is just about money laundering. And it's about this guy who money launders for this, this Mexican drug pimpkin cartel. And it's just, it's mind-boggling because the lengths he will go to launder this money, and he really doesn't have a choice in a way, but then to also protect his family. And then you see, you know, the storyline with his daughter, and you see the storyline with his son, which that's a little creepy if you ask me. And then you see the storyline with this man that they live with. And you'll understand once you start watching. It's a show that you literally start and can't put down. And it actually took me a couple days to watch. But the dialogue, the characters, the music, the non-digenic music in the background, the opening credits, there are no opening credits. It's an opening title. But it's an O, and then it's cut in fours, and you see little symbols of what the episode's going to be about. I thought that was so cool. I think that's like one of the best titles that I've seen on a show. And I'm not one for the titles. I am one for the original opening credits, because that's what I grew up with back in the day. And the one storyline involves an LGBTQ character. Such an authentic storyline. You don't suspect it. It's not thrown in your face. It's hardcore and to the point between two characters. And one character, you don't see it coming. So that was even shocking. You know, so this Netflix and, you know, I didn't even look to see who the creator of this show was. I will now because I have to watch anything that he writes or directs or produces or she. But Jason Bateman just nailed it. His character just, you know, I love him in certain movies and other TV shows or, or episodes. There were episodes that literally made me cringe or actually cover my eyes. Like, I felt like it was a mixture of, like, Nip Tuck and Sons of Anarchy, Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones. It has all those key elements. So, if you need a show to binge watch, Ozark on Netflix, 10 episodes. Start it now. Come back and comment. If you have watched it, start commenting. If you're into the Netflix binging, subscribe to the channel. You know, f share this video. Get people engaged into Ozark and watching it. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. It's all for you guys once again. Thank you for watching my videos, subscribing to my channel, commenting with your thoughts, liking them, sharing them. Continue. Follow me on Twitter, at AdamKingOfTV3. Again, that's at AdamKingOfTV3. I'm working on big stuff, guys. There's more coming. I love doing this. 
it's all for you guys and there's so much coming to watch you know I feel like I'm addicted to binge watching now and I said I wouldn't because I like to be in suspense for the next week I'm also watching Shameless and I'll tell you Netflix definitely knows what they're doing they are making gold to think that Netflix was the company that Blockbuster didn't want to do anything with. And now look at Netflix. I mean, Netflix has the networks running scared. Come on. And they know what to do. They know how to do it. You know, the content of this show. I don't know how they got away with some of it. I mean, we're talking hardcore. So yes, take a look at Ozark. You won't be disappointed. Trust me. You won't want to launder any money. And even the characters, I just, every character just was so distinctive. Usually you don't find that in a show. And then the ending will blow you away, literally blow you away. You won't see it coming. I literally had to rewind it and play it again. I almost fell off the bed because I couldn't believe that actually would happen. You don't see it coming. But Dell, he's the man. Plays the character to a T, whoever the actor is. But the character itself makes the show. And a few other things, too. They tackle other issues that we deal with in today's society. So, take a look. Thanks again for watching. I believe my next review video will be on Detroit, the film that comes out this Friday. So, it's all for you guys. Thanks again. Have a good week. Maybe I'll be back throughout the week. I don't know if there's anything special. Oh, yeah, The Sinner on USA. I will have a review video for The Sinner, Jessica Biel on USA. So, yes, two more videos coming this week. Have a good week, guys. Good night.